Are we alone in the universe? This is one of the most profound questions that humans have ever asked, and for thousands of years, we have been searching for answers. We have used our eyes, our telescopes, our probes, and our rovers to explore the cosmos and look for signs of life. But now, we have a new tool that could help us find the answer, the James Webb Space Telescope. The excitement is palpable, and for good reason. As we dive into the world of the James Webb Space Telescope, the possibility of discovering alien life in our own solar system is more real than ever before. Martin Rees, the UK's astronomer royal, has revealed that there could be life beyond Earth, and we may be on the verge of discovering it sooner than expected. I think we are aware that we can look for life in other places, other places in our solar system, and of course, on the exoplanets around other stars. And uh, within 10 or 20 years, I think two things could happen. There are several places that could host life, such as Mars, Europa, Enceladus, Titan, and even Venus. NASA is doing the impossible to explore these worlds and find out if they are habitable or inhabited. The James Webb Space Telescope will also help us learn more about these places by observing their atmospheres and surfaces. But what if we do find life in our solar system? How would that change our view of ourselves and our place in the cosmos? Would it mean that life is common in the universe, or that we are still special? And what if we find life elsewhere, not only in our Milky Way galaxy, but in other galaxies as well? In this video, we will dive deeper into these topics and explain what the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered in our solar system so far. We will also explore the possibilities of finding alien life in other parts of the universe and how that would rewrite the cosmic history. Humans have always wondered if we are alone in the cosmos or if there are other forms of life out there. The universe is vast and mysterious, and finding life among the billions of stars and planets seems like an impossible task. However, humans have never given up on this quest and have developed many tools and techniques to help us search for any evidence of life beyond Earth. One of the most advanced tools we have today is the James Webb Space Telescope. This powerful infrared observatory is designed to study every phase in the history of our universe, from the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, to the formation and evolution of stars and planets, to the origins of life. One of Webb's main goals is to explore the diversity and complexity of planets inside and even outside our solar system, known as exoplanets. One of the most fascinating systems that Webb has studied is the TRAPPIST-1 system, a collection of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a single, relatively cool star. All seven planets lie in or near their star's habitable zone, where liquid water could exist on their surfaces. TRAPPIST-1 is a perfect laboratory for studying what might make planets suitable for life. However, not all of the TRAPPIST-1 planets are equally promising. For example, Webb has found that one of them, TRAPPIST-1b, most likely has no atmosphere. This means that it is probably too dry and barren to support life. On the other hand, some of the other planets might have denser atmospheres with intriguing molecules such as carbon dioxide or water vapor. These molecules could indicate the presence of geological or biological activity on these worlds. We will talk more about exoplanets in another episode, but for now let us focus on how Webb is also revolutionizing our perspective on understanding our own backyard, the solar system. Have you ever imagined that there is life here in our own solar system? The answer is not so simple. Webb has captured stunning images of our solar system in infrared light. For instance, it has revealed details of Jupiter's storms and moons, Saturn's rings and auroras, and Mars's dust storms and polar caps. These images show how Webb can enhance our knowledge of these familiar objects by uncovering hidden features and processes. Webb can also help us explore some of the less known and more mysterious places in our solar system, such as the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These moons, such as Europa and Enceladus, have subsurface oceans that could harbor life. Webb can study their surfaces and plumes, a kind of jet of water vapor, to look for signs of organic molecules or heat sources. These clues could tell us if these moons are habitable or even inhabited. But there's another way in which this may happen in the next 20 years. People think there could be something swimming under the ice of uh, Europa and Enceladus, 
and probes are being sent to maybe not quite go under the ice but detect the spray coming coming out to see if there's evidence for organics in that and if we found any evidence for an origin of life that had happened in either of those places that would immediately be important because if life has originated twice independently in one planetary system the solar system that would tell us straight away it wasn't a rare accident and must have happened billions of times in the galaxy. Europa is one of the most intriguing moons in our solar system. It is a frozen world, with a thick layer of ice covering a global ocean of liquid water. Scientists think that Europa could be a potential habitat for life, as it has the essential ingredients of water, energy, and organic molecules. NASA has been exploring Europa for decades, using various spacecraft and telescopes, the first close-up images of Europa were taken by the Pioneer 10 and 11 and Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft in the 1970s. They revealed a cracked and crisscrossed surface with few impact craters, suggesting that Europa is geologically active. The Galileo spacecraft orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003 and made several flybys of Europa. It confirmed the existence of a subsurface ocean and detected a weak magnetic field around Europa indicating that the ocean is salty and conducts electricity. It also found evidence of plumes of water vapor erupting from the surface. The Hubble Space Telescope has been observing Europa from Earth orbit since 1990. It has detected signs of oxygen and hydrogen in Europa's thin atmosphere, as well as possible plumes of water vapor near the South Pole. These observations suggest that Europa might have some chemical exchange between the ocean and the surface, which could be important for life. However, with Webb, we can study Europa's surface, subsurface, ocean, atmosphere, and plumes in more detail than ever before. Webb can also help us answer some of the most fundamental questions about Europa. How thick is the ice crust? How deep is the ocean? What is the ocean's chemistry? How does the ocean interact with the surface and the rocky interior? Is there any volcanic or hydrothermal activity? Is there any organic matter or biosignatures? And most importantly, is there any life? Here are some examples of Webb's images of our solar system. Mars. Webb took this image of Mars on October 8, 2022, during the planet's closest approach to Earth. The telescope has captured high-resolution images of the entire disk of Mars in multiple infrared bands, showing details of its surface features, polar caps, dust storms, and clouds. Webb also obtained spectra of Mars's atmosphere, measuring the abundances of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and other gases. Jupiter and its moons. Webb observed Jupiter and four of its largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, in January 2023, when they were aligned with Earth. The telescope took images of Jupiter's cloud bands and storms in different infrared wavelengths, revealing variations in temperature, pressure, and composition. Webb also detected auroras at Jupiter's poles, caused by the interaction of its magnetic field with charged particles from the Sun and its moons. James Webb also imaged each of the four moons separately, showing their surface features and colors. Io was seen to have active volcanoes spewing sulfur dioxide plumes. Europa was seen to have cracks and ridges on its icy crust. Ganymede was seen to have bright and dark regions indicating different types of ice and Callisto was seen to have impact craters and a thin atmosphere. Uranus and Neptune Webb observed Uranus and Neptune in July 2023 when they were at their oppositions with Earth. It took images of both planets in multiple infrared bands, showing their atmospheres and clouds. The telescope also obtained spectra of both planets' atmospheres, measuring the abundances of methane, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, and other gases. Additionally, it detected auroras at both planets' poles as a result of their interactions with the solar wind and magnetic fields. This is just the beginning. There is so much more to be discussed on what Webb has revealed and what that means for the search for life on other planets. Webb still has a long way to go to explore our system in more detail and uncover more secrets. We are going to cover all these in future episodes of Rewriting the Cosmic History. If you like this video and want to support this program, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also join our channel. 
Your support helps us make more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting episodes of Rewriting the Cosmic History.